Oil eases as supplies adequate for now, despite Iran sanctions. Global oil markets are adequately supplied and spare production capacity remained at comfortable levels, the International Energy Agency said on Tuesday, while highlighting the need to avoid higher oil prices amid fragile global economic growth. The agency's comments come against the backdrop of the United States tightening its sanctions on leading oil producer Iran. On Tuesday, White House economic adviser Larry Kudlow said, President Donald Trump's decision to end all waivers that allowed importers of oil from Iran to avoid economic sanctions will not result in higher oil prices. I do not see any palpable impact. The world is awash with oil. Saudi Arabia calls for pressure on Iran after US ends oil exemptions. Saudi Arabia on Tuesday called for an international pressure to be kept up on Tehran after a US decision to end sanctions exemptions for Iran's oil customers. The latest US move was a necessary step to hold Iran responsible for its destabilizing policies and support for terrorism, Saudi Foreign Minister Ibrahim al assad said in a statement carried by the official Saudi press agency. He added that the kingdom was keen on the need for continued international efforts to compel the Iranian regime to abide by international laws and stop interfering in the other country's internal affairs. Imprisoned university student starts hunger strike for lack of medical care. Imprisoned university student Mojtaba Dadashi has started a hunger strike since April 23rd in protest against the denial of urgently needed medical care, including for a respiratory tract infection he has been suffering from since last week. Dadashi was in the last semester of his undergraduate studies in political science at Hakim Sabzavari University in Sabzavar Khorasan Razavi province. He began a three-year sentence on April 13th on the charges of insulting the leader, spreading propaganda against the state, and insulting the heads of the three branches of state. These charges stemmed from a video in which Dadashi had criticised the Iranian government. He said, The regime is neither Islamic, nor a republic, nor revolutionary. This regime is ruled by a minority that has sucked the blood out of the country for 40 years. Calls to designate Syria's Assad forces as terrorists after the IRGC FTO designation. The Lawyers League of Syria on Sunday called for the terrorist designation of the Syrian regime forces as a foreign terrorist organization for their involvement in war crimes against non combatant and Syrian civilians during the eight year war. The League considers the Syrian military and paramilitary forces similar to Iran's Revolutionary Guards which was designated as an FTO by the US State Department last week. The Syrian Lawyers League states that the Iranian and Syrian regimes are strategic partners in supporting terrorism across the Middle East and beyond. They are also the financier of terrorist organizations including the Lebanese Hezbollah and other terrorist and extremist groups in Iraq. The presence of the IRGC in Syria and its support for the Assad military has resulted in the deaths of nearly half a million civilians and has made more than 11 million people homeless. 